Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and iOS 18 now is just a few days away from being released to the public. This is an amazing update bringing a ton of new features and changes to iOS, a lot of new customization options for the home screen and your control center and a lot of other things that will make this of course one of the biggest updates to iOS in quite a few years. So in today's video I will show you guys the 10 things you need to know about this update before you move on and update your device to the new iOS 18. Now the first thing you need to know is the release time as you probably know by now Apple has actually confirmed the release date for iOS 18 and it will be September 16th. Now the release date is of course the same for everyone. The time will change based on your location but usually what Apple does they release the updates at 10 a.m. Pacific time so that is the time that the iOS 18 will actually be released to the public. So of course you can just go ahead and take a look at the clock here, check the 10 a.m. Pacific time and compare it to your local time. That way you can know when iOS 18 will come out for your device. Now, as far as support goes, iOS 18 will now support the exact same devices as iOS 17. So if you have an iPhone and you're running iOS 17 on it, it will support your device. So starting from the iPhone XS and the XS Max and the iPhone 11, which will be the oldest devices to actually support iOS 18, of course, all the newer other devices will also get iOS 18. Now, as far as the size goes, iOS 18 should be quite big on size because it's a big update that of course will also depend based on which device you're trying to install it and of course which software you have currently installed on your device so you might get a different size but what i suggest you do is that you have enough free storage on your iphone when trying to update to ios 18. i would suggest you actually have at least 10 or 12 free gigs of storage on your iphone to update your device to iOS 18. Now there will also be missing features. There are a ton of features that won't be available to all their devices. Now I have a video that I have done on that. I will leave it linked right here on the card. So if you have an older device, you can go ahead and check that out. But there are a few different features on iOS 18 that will be working only on the newest devices. Of course, the older devices, even though they do support iOS 18, they still have actually a lot of limitations. So a bunch of different features won't actually be available on the older devices but of course some of the coolest features like the customization options the dark mode icons will actually be available for all devices now when it comes to features of course some of the highlights of ios 18 are the new apple intelligence features these are cool but unfortunately this will be available only to the iphone 15 pro 15 pro max and the new iPhone 16 series, including the non-pro versions of the iPhone 16. Now, these features also won't be available with iOS 18 on any device. They will be available in October with iOS 18.1. So even if you have one of the newer devices or you get the new iPhone 16 or the 16 Pro, you still won't get the AI features. You will have to wait actually for a few weeks to get these features on your device. Currently, we have the writing tools features, the ability to actually summarize emails, summarize notifications, these are some of the cool new features that Apple has added to the new AI features of iOS 18, which again will be available not with 18, but with 18.1. Now, when talking about AI features, there are a ton of different features that Apple has talked about that actually won't be coming to iOS 18.1. Also, some of the new mail features, image playground, and also the ability to create your own emojis will be features that will be coming in the next month with the next iOS 18 updates, not with 18 and not with 18.1. Now, as far as Siri goes, you probably know that Apple has added a new UI for Siri. Siri now is much better. Of course, it, it's more natural. It will understand you and even 
if you're interrupted or something like that it will actually understand you but this is not siri 2.0 there are a lot of features that sh will be coming in the next updates so you won't be getting like the on-screen awareness the ability to actually change like do actions within apps like change settings and all that those are features that again will be coming with the next updates of ios 18 and not ios 18.0 now, when it comes to new updates, of course, one of the main things will be the battery life. I know a lot of users are concerned and just keep themselves from updating to new iOS versions because they think the battery life will suck. And that's actually sometimes that's the case with new updates, especially with initial releases like 18.0. But in my experience here using iOS 18 since beta 1, it actually has been quite decent. So here we have the iPhone 15 Pro Max with the battery health at 91%. And as you can see right here with 50% battery, we got 5 hours, 18 minutes. Then right here with about 80% battery, 10 hours, 42 minutes. And then here we have with around... 115 percent battery nine hours 27 minutes so the battery life is actually not that bad at all and if you have a battery that is in better condition than this one you probably will get also way better battery life now notice that this device is currently on 18.1 now the battery life in my experience has been very similar between iOS 18.0 and 18.1 but of course this one has the AI features which actually require a lot more CPU power that way the battery life should be even better with 18.0. And now let's talk performance. Now performance wise, iOS 18 is amazing. In my experience, again, using this since June, since beta one, it has been quite good. Between iOS 18 and 18.1, I had an amazing experience. Being that it's a big update and usually these updates, especially of course, on the initial betas, they tend to be very horrible. This one actually has performed quite good and you can see the score right here this is geekbench 6 and we have the single core score at 2935 which is an amazing score and then here we have even a better score for the multi-core score we have 7393 again this is an amazing update and even using it on daily basis it's very smooth not a lot of crashes it basically i rarely had any crash at all or any freeze on ios 18 as i can remember since like what more than two months now so it's overall amazing when it comes to performance and last but not least let's talk updating well updating the ios 18 it will be very simple make sure you have enough battery on your iphone more than 50 percent enough storage more than 10 gigs and then all you have to do go to general software update and you'll find here the update for ios 18 on monday september 16th 10 a.m pacific time if you have the rc version installed on your device then you won't be getting the update because you already have it if you have one of the betas you can go ahead and turn it off right here if you want to install the public version instead of the rc and of course, if you have an iPhone 15 Pro or the 15 Pro Max and you have iOS 18.1 on your device, then you won't be getting an update because you will have to wait for October and for iOS 18.1 to be released to the public. So that's basically for this video, guys. These are the 10 things that you need to know before you update your device to iOS 18. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.